we knew that whole time that it was going to be Jane. We knew we were telling a very specific story with her. Um, you know, it took us a few months to kind of reveal that. Then you found out kind of why she was worthy and what she was struggling with. And that was that she was dealing with cancer in her human life. And, and being Thor was basically killing her a little bit more every time she picked up the hammer because that transformation would neutralize the effects of her chemotherapy. So we, we watched her struggle with that for three years now. Um, and it was kind of always building towards this. I mean, I always said, you know, if we're going to do that story, we can't just magic it away at some point. We're not going to magic away her cancer. The other major threat that, that Jane faces right now, it's not just the cancer that's killing her mortal self. It's the Mangog who's wiping out all of Asgard. If you go back and look over the course of my run, there are teases here and there over the course of six years pointing towards Mangog. So we were always building towards that story. He's the character who's popped up a few times over the years. He shows up, he beats up all the gods, he terrifies Odin, and then usually he gets beat and he goes away. But he always manages to come back, so uh, the idea of him coming back as sort of this judgment and punishment of the gods really fits into the themes of the book that stretch back to, you know, again, to Thor, God of Thunder number one. Certainly this is a story you know, that Jane's arc has always been building towards, but also just the overall story of Thor and of Asgard and of Thor Odin's son and of Odin, all this stuff has been building towards this you know, titanic battle. I think this changes everything for the world of Thor going forward.